If you're in the market for some new cycling sunglasses and you're stuck on what lenses to get, you need to stick around because I have some guidance for you. Hello and welcome, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. I wanna to talk to you about our recommendations when it comes to lenses for the ideal pair of cycling sunglasses. I know it can get intimidating, especially if you're looking for prescription, trying to figure out what is the lens color, what are the lens features I should be looking for. So ideally at the end of this video, you will be a lot more confident in what you're looking for. I'm gonna talk about good lens options, bad lens options to know to avoid, specifically for cycling. I'm gonna tell you kind of what I recommend. I'm also gonna go into some brand specific options, not all of which are available in prescription, by the way. Uh, I will try to make sure to point out all of the things available to you there. Uh, and then I'll talk about some other lens features to also consider uh, that may kind of go either way, like not amazingly wonderful, but not terrible for you, but more convenient, whatever. We'll get into it. That's the whole point of this video. If at the end of this, you are ready to order, don't forget about SportRx. Definitely don't forget about our See Better Guarantee. With our See Better Guarantee, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. Maybe you find that the lens color that you're thinking is gonna be perfect for you just isn't. That's okay. With us, you have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out. You reach out to us and we take care of you no matter what that means on our end. Also, we have opticians, trained, certified, very, very friendly, who would love to help you get it right the first time. So you can always reach out to us and use this as a resource, which I recommend. All right, well, let's talk about lenses. First and foremost, what I usually do not recommend, some people still get it. I mean, okay, let's just say at the onset of this, there isn't anything that is like just such a bad idea. Don't get this. You're going to ruin your ride. You're going to ruin your, your experience on the road. No, there are just lens techs out there, lens colors out there, lens options out there that are going to benefit you better, that are going to actually you know, cater to the sport and allow you to have a better experience than you otherwise could. What I usually do not recommend is a gray lens, a dark gray lens, that lens color that you tend to find on like 70% or more of the sunglasses out there that are just right off the rack. It's nice for like an all around pair. It's going to give you neutral color perception. If anything, kind of more dull color perception. It's going to block light for sure. It's going to help to protect your eyes against bright, bright, sunny conditions. But there are other colors that will as well. And, you know, that lack of color perception, I think that lack of color detail can affect your reaction time. It makes it so that you don't notice things quite as readily. Lighter is usually better for cycling. So going with that dark gray means that you're cutting that much more light transmission. I find that you don't want something obviously that doesn't cut enough light transmission. If it's bright, you still wanna be protected from that bright light. But if it's lighter, uh, it will help you to spot things a little more readily in the same way that some of the lens colors that I'm gonna talk about will also help. But generally, I like to go for something that isn't the darkest of the dark, just allows a little more light through so that you have a little bit more control, but it allows you a little more versatility as well if you happen to go under some tree cover or shroud or through a tunnel perhaps. All right, let's talk about some other options. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about cycling sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, well, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly and expert SportRx opticians because they are eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more sunglass frame reviews, unboxings, or prescription cycling content, you can check out our videos on our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. What I do recommend, I always recommend, if somebody calls and they're like, I just want the best option for me, what's it gonna be? Contrast enhancement is king. Contrast enhancement is obviously the other end of the spectrum of something that's neutral or making colors look more dull. Contrast enhancement is gonna boost your color perception. It's gonna make colors look more vivid. It's gonna make things look prettier too. I think it makes it your experience a little more enjoyable, but the benefit of that contrast enhancement is going to be depth perception cues are enhanced. 
It's easier to spot and track things like potholes in the ground or in the terrain. It makes it easier to read the terrain, read the ups and downs, the ins and outs, the topography of the road is going to be easier to read with contrast enhancement because of those depth perception cues, because those colors are heightened, the differences between colors are heightened, makes a big difference and pretty across the board, people are very big fans of. One of my favorite colors is a rose or a rose copper. Browns are really good if you wanna cut more light transmission. Rose coppers tend to be more in that like, still good for brighter conditions, but also better for overcast conditions and cloudy conditions. A brown, like a deep brown is going to be better for really bright sunny conditions. If you're looking for something that does help to cut even extra light transmission, a mirror coating is a good idea to get. That's a coating that's applied to the front side of the lens. It actually creates more glare and more reflections. Because you're reflecting more light back, it means less light's making it through the lens. But you have to consider what kind of light is being reflected back. And that's light coming in at harsh angles. So not light going straight through, that doesn't tend to be reflected back as readily, even with a mirror coating. I mean, more so than without the mirror coating, but not nearly as much as light coming in at harsh angles. If you've ever messed with light or a, a laser pointer or whatever on a mirror, you know that it reflects back more readily the harsher the angle. That tends to be less usable light anyway. I call it ambient glare, just tends to be less usable, more annoying light anyway. And so it's nice that it's going to be more readily reflected back. While talking about some specific lens techs, that are more brand specific. One of my absolute favorites is Oakley's Prism Road, and they use a rose tint as their base color, and then they have a nice, as you can see in this one, reddish mirror coating applied to it. They do also have this available in actually a darker version now that is called Road Black, Prism Road Black, both of which available in prescription, which is pretty fantastic. Another one that's really good, if you are familiar with 100%, love 100%, they have a lot of awesome frames, and their hyper red multi-layer mirror is my favorite for cycling. When talking about Smith, another great brand, and their Chromapop lens tech is also really amazing at that color enhancement, color boosting, and their red mirror is my go-to for cycling. Rudy Project is another really good addition to this. You're probably familiar with project if you've been cycling for any amount of time because they have really good options really amazing frames as well their racing red is my favorite let's talk about some sporter x specific lenses there are two that i have in mind that i really like the first one is a really good across the board actually sport lens but it is my go-to for cycling as well. It's called the start to finish lens. That is a really good go-to lens. If you want something a little more dynamic, the road trip lens is one of my favorite Sporter X lenses. Uh, and when I say the Sporter X lenses, we have our sport optimized lens category. So when you're building out your prescription lenses, you have the option of choosing a la carte, choosing all of your different uh, lens features individually, or you can go down the path of the sport optimized lenses. And those are all the ones that we build out with our wealth of knowledge in lens features and how they perform and what they tend to benefit and what sport. And the road trip is one of my favorites because it's a little more dynamic. It has a good light to medium rose copper base with a transitions lens that is a transitions extra active brown. And so it builds off of that rose copper base and it turns to a dark brown with that rose copper addition in there. So it gets to a nice deep dark lens when you're in bright sunny conditions with a ton of contrast enhancement, but then in its lower light conditions, it's going to be that light to medium rose copper. So a little more dynamic, really cool lens. So talking other lens features, I kind of touched on this one a little bit, but that photochromic lens, otherwise known as Transitions, if you're unfamiliar, Transitions is a brand name and photochromic is the what that brand does. So it's light reactive, it will get darker in bright sunny conditions and it'll clear up to a lighter state indoors or at night. Really nice if you want a little more versatility. I don't usually push it too strong unless somebody's looking for that versatility. Usually my preference is for somebody looking for a really good lens for daytime cycling, I usually recommend a lens that is fixed and works really well for that. And you get something that's like the FLAC 2.0 XL here that's 
interchangeable. And so you can get multiple sets of lenses for the one frame. Then you can get a set of clear or very lightly tinted lenses for low light or nighttime use. That's uh, kind of getting a little into the weeds. If you want more information on that, you can always reach out to us. But for somebody looking for one lens, it gives you a little more versatility. Transitions or photochromic lenses are a good idea and they definitely can suit a lot of needs. As I mentioned with my one of my favorite sport optimized lenses, that road trip lens, really, really cool. Definitely a good option if you want that versatility and you can usually get the transitions in either a gray or a brown. That gray, of course, is gonna be that neutral color perception and the brown is gonna be contrast enhancing. And so I usually recommend the brown. Another lens feature to consider is polarized. Polarized, we've done a lot of videos on this. If you want more info, you can look into those for like what polarized is, how it performs effectively really quick it is a filter that cuts glare bouncing off of other objects like the asphalt vehicles water it's nice as a general all-around feature i don't push it too hard for cycling because it can affect your depth perception it's cutting light on a single plane which means that it can mess with your depth perception to an extent it's not a hundred percent of people it is kind of i think about 50 percent of people it also depends on the quality of the polarizing filter. So there are a lot of things that go into why it may or may not be okay for you. One other thing to consider is that it can affect digital displays. I will say that most cycling computers are designed to not be affected negatively by polarized lenses, but that is not to say that you are for sure not gonna have that problem. It's something to be aware of. It's a nice feature to have in an, in an all around everyday pair. I don't usually push it too hard for cycling, but some people use it and are fine with it. Just keep that in mind. When it comes to lens materials, I always recommend something lightweight. Of course, you don't want something weighing you down. Something also impact resistant is a really good idea just because you never know what could be kicked up from the road and you want those lenses also to protect you. So a good polycarbonate, a good Trivex lens material is a really good idea. At SportRx, our standard lens that we do in prescription is a polycarbonate lens. There are other options out there, again, with more information on that you can reach out to us because we can help you i don't want to get too deep in the weeds but i will say for sure avoid glass because glass lenses are heavy and they are not at all impact resistant they can crack they can shatter they will not be safe or a good idea so keep those for on the boat in your costas when you're on the bike go with something lightweight and impact resistant that wraps it up for what is important to know about when deciding on lenses for your next pair of perfect cycling sunglasses. I hope you learned something. I hope there was something valuable for you that you now have as a strong contender for your next perfect pair. If you happen to like any of these uh, kind of snuck in here frames, stick around for a moment longer. We will put a quick and easy shop now button to click on. If you are ready to order again, do not forget about that See Better guarantee. I really think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. And if peace of mind is your thing, I'll mention it again. Our opticians would love to help you get it right the first time. So definitely use this as a resource. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting or at least valuable information. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out. You guys, you can find relevant videos over here. If you are ready to shop any of these awesome styles, you can click this button right here. Really easy, super simple. If you are looking to get some new uh, content uh, to look at, then this is exciting and fun. You should check us out on our social media outlets. I think that you'll like it. That's why I recommend it because I think it's cool. Check it out.